this is a common question and a dilemma what to wear and what not to wear for the african safari In this video I will clarify everything what you should wear and what you should avoid for the safety and legal purpose this will also help you to avoid any unnecessary shopping before your safari starts the very first advice you must have heard is to avoid the dark blue or the black color because people say that these colors they attract insects but this is not true in my experience of over two decades now I have been wearing blue jeans many times in a safari and never found any insect sneak in into my pants what happens that this dark blue and dark black color they are not reflector of the light and because of that property they are uncomfortable especially during afternoon so that is the only scientific reason to avoid these colors so can you wear white instead yes you can but it will become dusty because there is lot of dust in the safari when you are going outside in the jungle so white needs to be avoided for that reason otherwise you can wear it you can wear any other color of your choice because animals especially big cats are color blind and you must have seen many maasai guides in africa in many videos and live also when you visit to africa that these maasai guides they wear red shuka or a vibrant blue shuka that is a shawl or the apron now when they can wear it why can't you wear it but the advisable thing is to wear brown green or khaki not for any other reason but for because they take up and do not show the dust and they gel with the neutral colors so that is the only reason why you should wear green khaki or brown there is no other reason behind wearing a particular color but if you do not have it especially for african safari there is no need to purchase those extra items which you may which you may not use later on once the safari is over to protect your skin from the sunburn and the insect bites wear a full sleeves shirt and trousers when we are talking about the sunburn and the harsh light in africa this fully covered hat is mandatory to protect your scalp whosoever visits with me to africa on my safari i provide them complimentary hat this acts as a souvenir and it's an utility item then the next important thing is sunglasses wear it while you are on a safari because especially tanzania and kenya they are located on the equator and the light here has abundant of ultraviolet rays so your sunglasses must be having a uv protection and preferably a polarizing sunglasses would be better then regarding shoes a simple sport shoe will suffice there is no need to have that high ankle hiking shoes you are not going to hike you are always there on a safari vehicle in fact you can remove the shoes while you are on a safari in the vehicle then needless to say that cotton socks are preferable as compared to any synthetic or polyester socks and same thing goes with the cloths your trouser and shirt also should be of a pure cotton if at all possible then cotton scarf to protect you from the dust is mandatory in african safari you will also require a woolen cap and a jacket to cut that chilly wind in the early morning and late evening safari then while you are in the camp that time also that woolen cap and your jacket would be helpful and now the most important do not do not wear a military styled camouflage shirt and trousers this is banned legally in africa for the civilians so avoid that to avoid any trouble thank you and keep exploring